Hi everybody, this is Mr. Lemoyne. This video is going to teach you how to calculate or find the number of neutrons in any element off the periodic table. The elements do not show how many neutrons are in each one, so I'm going to show you how to do it. It's important for you to know how to do this for your project that's going to be due. So here we have the periodic table of elements. And what I'm going to use for an example is I'm going to use chlorine. And if I find one, I look for chlorine on here. I think chlorine is right about there. That's chlorine, number 17. I know it's 17, and I can see all the information that I need right there on, the, on any periodic table in order to find the neutrons. Let me show you how to do that. So here's chlorine up close, and I know that chlorine is number 17, and I also know that it, it has atomic mass of 35.453. Now, this little comma here is usually a period um, for American tables, but other countries use the comma instead. So what I can do is I can make this a little bit smaller here. And I'm going to start my equation, and I know with my equation, I know most of my equations, it is, in order to find the neutrons, I just need to know that atomic mass, if I write it here, atomic mass, is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So, I definitely know a couple things. I know the atomic mass, which is right here. I know the number of protons, which is the same as the number of my element. So all I have to find out is neutrons. So what I can do is I can rewrite this, I can rewrite this kind of an equation by saying the number of neutrons is equal to the atomic mass, the bigger number, minus the protons. So how is that going to look with my chlorine up here? All right, I'm going to write my little equation up here using this bottom piece right here, down here, the final one that I came up with. All I have to do is plug in these, these answers, and I'll find out what n equals. So n equals the atomic mass which is written down here at the bottom. So I'm going to, instead of writing 35.453, I'm just going to write the, the numbers up to the point, right? So instead of writing 35.453, because that's a lot of math, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the first two numbers, 35, and I'm going to subtract the number of protons. And the number of protons is the same as the atomic number, which is 17 right here. So 35 minus 17 I want to do it this way is cross off that. 15 minus 7 is 8 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So that means that I have 18 left over. So if I erase that I know it's my number of neutrons is equal to 18. All right? So if I want to go on to one more thing here, I can actually draw this out for you and show you what it looks like. Now that I know that it has 18 neutrons, 17 protons, and it also has 17 electrons. So let me draw that out for you. Now before I draw my model, what I'd like to make sure of is I know how many of each of the elements, of each of the parts of the element there are. So I know for sure that there are, from the number 17, I know that there are 17 protons, and I know that there has to be 17 electrons, and I just did the calculation for neutrons, which is 18, because 17 plus 18 equals 35, right? Which is right here, okay? So I'm going to start off by just drawing... And I'm going to start drawing a model. And the reason I'm drawing my model is because you should put it in your pamphlet 
and it helps you before you make your poster. So I have to start with the nucleus, which is the small part of my model, and there has to be 17 neutrons and 17 protons inside of here, which is going to be difficult with my, my pen here, but I might draw 17 little white yellow dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18 neutrons, those little neutrons. There's going to be 17 protons, so I'm going to put in 17 protons. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then I'm going to draw my electrons. And my electrons on the outside, I might use a different color for my rings. So here are my rings. I know that there's two on the first ring. There's going to always be eight on the second ring. And that means I have to have a third ring too. Okay. So I'm going to start putting in my electrons. I can put in my electrons here as one electron, two on the first ring. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the second ring. So there's two plus eight is ten, and I'm still missing seven. So I'm going to put in seven more. Three, four, five, six, seven. That is my model. Now at the bottom, I not at the bottom, but if you're making a poster or a drawing, you need to let people know what the colors mean. And over on the side here, I actually have written E is in red, so I know that's the electrons. P is in blue, so I know the little dots in the middle are protons. And my N is yellow, so my little dots in the middle are neutrons. And anybody looking at my picture knows that. So my model is complete. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you understand this. Watch this as many times as possible. Thank you very much.